So this battery backup case is from Amazon. I picked it up. It got here in two days, which was really cool. I always love Amazon Prime. I'll post a link in the description, but I thought let's let's open it up. Let's see what's in it. And you guys let me know in the comments what you think of this. I'm pretty excited about this. I know for me when I travel, two and a half hours of Zelda is just not enough time. With this, it allows me to get closer to six hours, depending on screen brightness and the output of your volume and things like that. But I've seen three and a half hours on just the battery that's in this alone, not counting the two and a half, the two hours that you get out of the switch itself. So yeah, definitely for $50, definitely worth the price tag. Um, and I really like this thing. So let's, let's get right into it. So when we pull it out of the case, you get the, you get the battery backup case and you can see that here. There's some paperwork and there's a really super awesome uh, carrying case. So we get some paperwork. There's a little thank you note here. I don't know what that's about, especially for you and some blah, blah, blah. I didn't even read it, but I thought it was pretty cute. And then a instru little instruction booklet here. It's just telling you, you know, how to um, install your switch onto it, you know, what the charging means and, and all that stuff. But I'll go over that, that with you, so don't worry about that. So we have the case here, it's pretty simple. As you can see, it's about a half an inch thick. Two, two buttons here, you can see on the side there, there's one here and there's one here. Now you need to press both of those in at the same time and you can see that this pops up. And when it's popped up, that allows you to put the switch down into the connector here and you see that's a USB type C that mates perfectly with your Nintendo Switch. So what you're gonna wanna do is just pop your switch down in there, make sure that it rests in there the whole way, and then you simply just close it, just like that. Okay, so the features this thing has, it has a power on and off button right in the back here, and you can see if you press it one time, you'll see that the LEDs light up. Four LEDs means that it's 100% charged. If you see three lightning bolts, 75%, two lightning bolts, 50% and one lightning bolt represents 25% charge. Now to turn it back off again, you just double press it there and the battery bank will turn itself off. That means you're not getting a charge on the front here and you can see, um, you can see currently that my switch is not being charged right there. Now if I hit the button in the back here, watch this, you'll see that you'll see the lightning bolt up there next to the number representing that it's being currently charged right now. Okay, so that's that's the power on and off right there. Uh, next to it, above it there, we have the intake vents. That's where the air sucks in into the bottom of the switch. And then the exhaust blows out the top. So you'll see that we have, do have cutouts for the intake and the exhaust vents on this. So you do not have to worry about this thing overheating your switch while it's in the case. Um, one other nice feature about it is it has dual kickstands, not just one, but it has two kickstands on it. And you can see there, there's three different positions to those. So that's the first one out. There's a second one there, and then a third one right there. Now I gotta say, the first one seems to work okay, and the third one works okay. The one in the middle seems like it's a little too much weight for the switch with the case on it and the body of the switch, and it ends up just falling right back into the the third position anyway. So if you're gonna use this thing with the kickstand, I'd say just plan on having it the whole way back just to be safe. That way it doesn't fall over or anything like that. The The kickstands seem a little bit flimsy. They don't pop off of there like your kickstand does that comes on your switch body. Um, initially, the, that, like that one you can actually pop off. If you didn't know that, you can grab it and pull it right off and it pops right back on. These will not do that, so be careful not to do that. If you do, you will break it. Now, the charge port. So once this thing is low on power and you need to actually charge it up, you're gonna do it right on the side here. And you can see there's a USB Type-C connector right there. Now, sadly, this doesn't come with any charger built in for, you know, to plug it into the wall or anything like that, no cables come with it. You will need to use the cable that came with your Nintendo Switch um, initially. So all I did was just plug my cable into the dock that I have, and then just plugged it into here. It charged up fine and I was good to go. So Okay, so if we look at the top of the switch here, you can see you have all your standard cutouts here. We have the 
power and the volume up and down slots right there, which are easily accessible with the case on. You have the uh, cartridge case slot over here, and then you have your headphone jack. You can definitely get to the headphone jack easily. I know it was a little bit difficult for me to actually pull the game out of there with this thing actually in place. It was actually easier for me to just pull the case off and swap the cartridges, put it back in the case, and then I'd be good to go. It just was. Now the last cool feature about this thing is it stores two cartridges. So you can carry two games with you without having to put them in your pocket or do anything else like that. So what you wanna do is, on the back here you'll see some ribbed lines. Now it's a little hard to get this thing open and close, I have to admit, but I'd rather it be a little difficult to open and close than to open too easily and my, my games be lost because this wasn't sturdy enough when they made it. So what you gotta do is I just press down on this kind of firm and then push up just like that. So you're gonna wanna press down on the back of this and then up and you'll see that that swings open, that little door right there. Now when that door swings open, there's two games, two slots that you can actually put games in and they're gonna be right here and right here. So uh, basically all you do is you take your, your game and just pop it right into the slot there that's made for your game to go into. You can see it there. And then just push the door open and press down on it. And it's locked into place, it's not gonna come out, it's not gonna open up, you're not gonna lose your games. I feel pretty confident about that. So yeah, that that's it. Um, one other thing that I really it was pleased about this case when I when I took it out of the, the packaging and I held it was the actual texture to it. It has a super nice rubbery textury feel to it. So it doesn't feel like a cheap uh, you know plastic. Even the, the Joy Cons they feel a little cheaper than the actual um, case of this feel. So it's pretty nice. Now I do okay, so one last thing we need to do is I want to test this case to see if it'll fit into this case. So let's open this thing up. I, I'm kind of thinking that this is going to be a little too thick to fit in here comfortably and get this thing closed, but we'll see. So I'm laying this thing in here and I have my battery backup case on there with it. And it already feels a little tight to go in there. And you can see there, I'm like struggling to get this thing closed in there. It's just a little too big. Let's see if I can get it zipped up. Oh, wow, I'm, I'm shocked. So yeah, I can actually get it zipped up. It's like completely crammed in there though. I don't think it's gonna damage my console or the battery to have it in there, but it is, it is pretty tight. Like I'm not fitting anything else in there, no cables or anything like that, and nothing else is going in there. But I gotta say, I'm shocked. I'm surprised that this can actually, my, my switch can fit in there with the battery backup case. And yeah, so everything's looking good so far. Now, the bag that comes with this, the, the storage bag, totally awesome. I'm definitely a fan of it. And you can see it here. It's um, super stretchy. It has a really nice, expensive feel to it. I definitely like this thing. Even if I don't use it with this battery backup case, I'm going to find something to use this for. Like, I really dig this. It, it's really a nice quality uh, bag. So, let's see if this fits in here and see what it looks like. So, with the Joy-Cons on it, my switch which, you know, on it and everything like that. It's just a little too small to fit in there. If they only made the bag like an inch longer, it would have fit in here perfectly and you could have carried the whole entire switch around like this. Now, this is not gonna give you much, you know, impact protection. If you would drop your switch on the ground while it's in this bag, forget about it. But um, it is nice, I gotta say. So let's try it without the Joy-Cons on and see what it looks like. So I pop my Joy-Cons off, and let's see if it fits in there now. And yeah, it, it fits in there really nice. So this would be an easy way to um, tote this thing around. It, I, I think mainly this, this bag was for just putting the battery backup case in there to, tr you know, to travel with it without your Switch actually being inside the bag. But as you can see, I can fit the body of my Switch on the battery backup case and it does fit in the bag there. 
so yeah that's that's pretty much it as far as features on this thing goes um, I tested this and it took about an hour and a half to two hours for me to fully charge this battery and I guess that's going to depend on the type of charger that you have plugged into it to begin with a one amp charger is definitely going to take longer than like a two and a half amp charger will um, the battery that's in this thing is uh, 6800 milliamp hours and um, it's a fairly big battery like I gotta say it's a pretty beefy battery and as you can see by the size of this thing it's it's big in size and it has some weight to it. It probably adds about to the whole Switch console. So it definitely feels a little bit heavier in my hands. Now, one thing to note about this, the weight's not gonna be a big issue if I'm playing it in desktop mode, say I'm on an airplane or something and my flight's longer than two hours. Easily, I could just remove the uh, Joy-Cons from the, from the Switch and just play it in handheld mode and um, you know, I'm not even concerned about the weight. The weight is, you know, not an issue at all because it's sitting on a table right now. So uh, that that would be one way to utilize this without the weight of it being a concern for you. Um, you can get with a fully charged switch battery. So the the battery that's on the actual in the body of the switch itself, and having a fully charged battery backup you can get almost six hours of battery life out of this thing. So playing Zelda with the standard you know, battery that's in the Switch, you get two to two and a half hours of play time. With the battery backup battery, you can get about an extra three and a half hours. So you could see potentially um, a six hour play time with this thing. So definitely worth the um, extra weight and bulkiness of this case to have an extra three and a half hours of play time. Uh, not to mention that it's very clean and, and very fit feeling, you know, it, it doesn't feel like it was a rushed, you know, um, part to, to make or anything like that. I think they did a very nice job. I'm very pleased with this and I highly recommend it to you guys out there. So if you guys are looking for a battery backup for your Nintendo Switch, check out the link in the description. It's, um, it's in Amazon, on Amazon Prime right now, so if you do order it, I'll have a link in the description, and let me know what you guys think below. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.